Hi, I'm Mark Hoppers, and today we're going to be talking about SharePoint setup within Microsoft Online Services. Uh, so if you've been with us in the previous Online Services video, uh, we're going to be looking at starting in the Administration Center, in the Online Services Administration Center. Uh, you are uh, you're, you're uh, looking at the landing page for the administrator portal. Uh, what you'll notice is right in the smack in the center of our page, we've got uh, a status, a service status, and specifically last in the last video we looked at Exchange Online. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at SharePoint Online, and we have a basic health check of our uh, of our SharePoint Online services. It's telling us that there's no problems with our online services which is always good news so we're gonna head on over to the service settings tab and start digging into a couple of areas of, uh, of the SharePoint uh, interface that we have access to uh, from service settings I'm gonna go to SharePoint online and the topics we're gonna be covering in this video are uh, specifically site collections and how site collections translate in online services and then, and then from there we're going to be talking about how to get to the various functions that as a SharePoint administrator you're familiar with uh, from, for managing your SharePoint uh, sites and your SharePoint users. Okay, so here we are in the SharePoint Online uh, service settings and what we're looking at uh, is uh, essentially an, a, a, a summary of the site collections that we have established within our SharePoint, uh, SharePoint sites. Um, just a brief overview of site collections. The site collection represents the, high, the top level hierarchy of our SharePoint site. So we are, uh, as you can see here, we do have a, a top level site collection called Cogent Collaborative. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how to sp how to start a uh, or how to create a new site collection. Uh, we're going to click on the new uh, the new uh, link there, and we'll just create a title of new site collection. This uh, new test site collection. Uh, if you if you're familiar with SharePoint, which I'm assuming uh, you may you may be familiar with SharePoint if you're uh, looking at this, um, I'm going to assume you are. If you're if you're not, uh, it might make sense to go and check out some of the SharePoint overview videos uh, or some of the information uh, also found at Microsoft.com. Um, we have the opportunity to apply a template. There are uh, there are six templates that come with Microsoft Online Services. Uh, team site, blank site, document workspace, wiki, blog, and a basic meeting workspace. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to choose a team site uh, and I'm going to uh, have this send a notice to my uh, business email. And then uh, I'm going to have to go down here and allocate storage. I'm going to allocate a gig. Uh, it looks like I've only got a 1.01 gig left. so. Uh, we're not going to have a lot of storage space left. I'll go ahead and hit create and we will create our site collection um, titled new site collection. Once this site is created uh, we will have a couple of options. We're going to look specifically at how we can uh, how we can look at uh, the information that we just entered in about our site collection. Uh, we will also look at how to uh, uh, how to administer our site collection from here, and then we'll jump over and actually look at the SharePoint site itself. So I'm told now I do have a successfully configured SharePoint Online site collection with the following properties, which we entered in. Hit finish, and it'll take me back to the service settings uh, for SharePoint Online. Uh, as soon as my site collection list comes back, you'll see that we have the new site collection right there. Uh, clicking on this link will take us back to that uh, the the information that we looked at uh, previously. Uh, so this is just the basic summary information about our site collection. And uh, then we'll look at. I'm going to skip view site for now and go over here to service to uh, to the uh, site settings. 
Uh, those of you familiar with SharePoint will recognize these. These are the uh, administrator or uh, oh, and it looks like I have to log in, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're logged back in and we've got uh, our new site collection uh, site settings uh, tab, uh, uh, portal page up. Uh, if you're familiar with SharePoint, as I mentioned before, you're going to be very familiar with this cap with these functions. Um, this is the basic administrative uh, setting cap uh, setting functions available to a SharePoint um, a, uh, a SharePoint site. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through these. If you need more advice or help on uh, SharePoint uh, and how to use these things, uh, I would uh, I would definitely uh, go hit the Microsoft.com website and uh, start looking around for the SharePoint content that you need. Um, so we're going to jump back over to uh, back over to the administrative site now. Okay, so we're back in the uh, service settings for SharePoint Online. We are looking at our two site collections that we have, uh, the one we just created called New Site Collection and an old one um, that I had set up. Uh, the, the thing we missed, skipped a second ago, was go to site. So from the administrator console, we can actually jump to the site itself. And from here, you'll see that we have a standard SharePoint site. And this is the uh, obviously titled New Site Collection. This has the basic functionality of Windows SharePoint services. Uh, that you would find in any Windows SharePoint Services um, uh, implementation. Uh, clearly, you're going to you're going to have uh, a lot of the same capabilities. Uh, maybe if there's going to be a few less uh, uh, a few less customizations or a few less of the uh, fewer of the the uh, templates and those things. But uh, you have a fully functional Windows Sh SharePoint Services site uh, from here. Okay, so one of the final things I want to look at today or show, talk about today is uh, the, the ability to assign security settings. And I'm going to go to the edit function, the edit button or the edit link right here. Uh, after selecting new site collection, I'm gonna, I, I clicked edit and I should be getting a, uh, a screen that shows me the site collection properties, which there that is. Uh, from here, we're going to be going over, uh, I want to flip over here to the Site Collection Permission tabs, and uh, I want to show, uh, how, show how we would add permissions uh, from a user list. So that uh, go to SharePoint, add users to permission list now will take you to the SharePoint Administrator uh, permission site. And uh, similarly, um, you can go down below and add, um, add administrators to that list as well. So again, these are share standard SharePoint uh, administrator functions. And um, if you're looking for more help on SharePoint, uh, I'd suggest Microsoft.com. Um, so I'm going to cancel out of this. The last thing we need to talk about is the delete function. So if you do need to delete a site collection, it uh, couldn't be easier, unfortunately, in some cases. Uh, you need to make sure you uh, really want to delete it because when you delete it, all the data goes away. Um, so we're going to delete the new site collection that we just created uh, that has a gig of storage allocated to it. It's going to ask us to confirm it. Yes, we're confirming it. And we've run the life cycle of a site collection from creation to operation to, uh, to deletion. So uh, that uh, concludes the SharePoint Online service settings and SharePoint Online uh, setup. Uh, thanks for listening today. Again, my name is Mark Hoppers, and uh, we've been talking about SharePoint Online, Microsoft Online services uh, for SharePoint Online. Thanks, and have a good day.